Hey everyone, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, we're gonna be checking out the brand new CMS expression. Let's go ahead and check it out. So here in Wix Studio, we have this little stack right here. And with expressions, we can create things using a single element that includes dynamic values like this. For example, before what we'd have to do is create one element like this. Then we would have to grab the element, maybe set the scale, the response behavior to hug. And then we'd have to copy and paste it a couple times, place it side by side, then stack these together. And then we could connect maybe this first name to the first name and then last name to the last name. And we are able to create that effect using three different text elements. However, with expressions, we are now able to just use one single text element here to create the same effect. So that's what we are gonna be building in today's video. So I'm just gonna copy this stack right here. And just to kind of show you, I wanna open up the database really quickly. We're gonna go into our CMS, go to my collection, and we're gonna open up the birthdays database. And as you can see, we have name, last name, date of birth, and just an image, right? So let's say we wanna create a blank dynamic item page. And I'm just going to simply paste in the stack that we have, the stack that we designed from the homepage. And you can see right here what we're supposed to build, right? The image, we of course wanna connect this to the image in the profile picture. Perfect. We don't have to use an expression for that. But for this text right here, we want to say hello, and then first name and last name. So how can we do that? Well, instead of using Velo code or anything, what we can do is actually come over to the connections and we can set this to an expression. So we don't wanna connect it to any of the fields themselves. We wanna connect it to an expression. And this will allow us to kind of create a variable for this text element here. And what I'm gonna type in is concat. And concat is basically like combining elements together into like one variable in a way. So I'm gonna type in concat and I'm gonna add some parentheses. Inside the parentheses, what we're gonna first do is start with the hello. So I'm gonna add some quotations and I'm gonna type in hello. Then on the outside of the quotation marks, I'm gonna add a comma. And I, I also wanna kind of let you know that I am setting this up incorrectly for now. And I'm gonna show you how to fix it in just a second. But after the comma, what we're gonna want to add is their name, just like that. Then we're gonna do comma and we're gonna type in last name. Okay, so now when I go ahead and preview the website, you're gonna see it says, hello, Alice Johnson. But you're gonna notice that there's no spaces in between all of the items. So how can we fix that? Well, if we grab this text element again, and we zoom in really quickly, what we're gonna do is after the hello, we're just gonna add a space. And it's going to use that as the space after hello. For the space in between name and last name, all we're gonna do is add another quotation mark with a space. And then after the quotation mark, we're gonna add a simple comma. So we're saying hello, comma, with a space, first name, space, and last name. Okay, so now when we zoom out, we should see it automatically update here with exactly what we wanted. But now let's go ahead and talk about the days old text right here. If we take a look here in the collection, you'll remember that we have their date of birth, right? So we're gonna use an expression to calculate how many days they have been alive. So once again, we're gonna select the text, we're gonna come over to expression, and we're gonna create an expression. Now, this one, we're still concatting a string. So we're still um, adding text and we're doing a calculation. So what we're gonna do is say concat and we're gonna add those parentheses. Now inside the parentheses, we are gonna have three things. We're gonna have your, then we're gonna have the calculation, and then we're gonna have another text that says days old. But what I'm gonna do is start by saying your, and we're gonna have to remember that space that we wanna add. Then we're gonna add a comma. Then I'm going to add a comma, but I'm gonna skip the calculation for now, and I'm just gonna add another comma, signaling that we need to go back to it, and then I'm just gonna add another quotation mark, and for this one, I'm gonna add a space and say days old. And then at the end, we just need to remember to close the parentheses. Perfect. So now let's go ahead and start working on the calculation. So with the expressions, there are a ton of different variables that you can use to create calculations. Um, for this one, we're gonna use something called days, and we're gonna have some 
parentheses there. Inside of this, what we want to do is grab today's date. So I want to say today with some quotation marks, and we're going to add a comma because we are comparing that to their date of birth, which is the field ID from the collection. So just like we did with the name and last name here, these are actually the field IDs from the CMS. So if I come over to the coding panel and just turn this on temporarily and go into the database and I click on date of birth, you're gonna notice that the field ID is date of birth. And similar to what we did with the first name and last name, the first name, its field ID is just name. And then for last name, the field ID is last name. So that's what we're using in the expressions. So don't, but I do believe if I'm not mistaken, you can technically just type in the field name as well. Um, and that should work. But what we're gonna do is head back into our calculation and we want to compare today's date with the date of birth, just like that. So now if we go ahead and zoom out, you are now gonna see that it has done the calculation for us. And it says you are 12,482 days old, which is kind of cool. Now I will say it would be really nice to be able to add additional formatting to these as well. However, at this moment, it seems like for number formatting, the only things you can do is convert to a currency format or a percentage. But in this instance, this is not a percentage, nor is it like a currency. And when I was doing testing for this video, you know, I would end up with something that looked like this. And I even was able to get it to look like this, but I don't always want the decimal point there, right? I just wanted this, right? So at this moment, I don't think it's possible, but I am 100% sure that they are gonna be working on adding more formatting options very, very soon. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix Studio content coming out really, really soon. Thank you all again, and I will see you on the next one.